In this video, we are going to learn about creating motion design templates, overview of motion design and don't skip anything as I am going to show you a 3D motion design template which is hidden by default in Unreal Engine. So without any delay, let's jump into the video. Now let's start with our template first and we are going to use this template throughout our series of motion design in Unreal Engine. So let's go to games, let's go to third person and I'm not going to load the ray tracing. Yes, I'm going to load the starter content and I'm going to name my project to motion design. Okay, and let's just create the scene and let's wait till it's loaded. As you guys can see, it has loaded the, our uh, third person scene here, template here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do certain things here. First, I'm going to enable some plugins and I'm going to set a default level of basic here as my default map. So let's just go to file, new level. And we are going to use this basic level as our base template here. Okay. So let's just name this. Let's just uh, name this here. So we are going to go to content drawer and we are going to go to content right click and let's just create a new folder called motion design. And I'm going to create certain folder here. Let's name first one to levels and then we are going to create folders as we further go along in our video. Okay, so let's just go to levels. Let's just go to file, save current level S and we are going to go to motion design levels and let's just save this here to our basic start map. Okay, so we are going to use this basic start map here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, delete our player start here because we don't need to have this and rest we are going to keep it here. Now let's just do one thing. We are going to now enable some plugins in order to use motion design in our uh, Unreal Engine. So let's just go to edit. Let's just go to plugins here and we need to enable certain plugins here. So let's just first search for motion and design. So you will find there is a motion design here. We are going to load it here. We are going to say yes. Okay, we are not going to restart now. We are going to load some more plugins here. So let's just search for Niagara. Okay, because we are going to use Niagara as well in our future videos with this motion design tool. So let's just uh, turn on the Niagara fluids here. Okay, make sure sim caching is turned on. And we also want our cloners and effectors because we are going to start with our motion design journey with cloner and effectors here. Okay, so let's just enable this as well. Okay, then I'm going to enable my movie render queue as well if you want to create cinematics here. So I'm going to turn on this render passes and movie render queue as well. And last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the HDRI backdrop as well and it's already HD and it's already enabled here. So let's just restart our engine. But before doing that, I'm going to close here. I'm going to go to edit project settings and I'm going to select this as my base map. To do that, you need to go to maps and modes here. Okay, and you need to make sure that your startup and game default map both are set to your basic. Okay, basic level. So let's just type here basic. Okay, and you can see basic start map is here. And let's just do same thing for this as well. So let's just type basic and basic start map here as well. Okay, we are going to close and now we are going to restart our engine and see you after the engine is restarted. Now my engine is restarted. Now let's just look at what is motion design. How does the motion design template works? And what are the options that we get in motion design? So we are going to get familiar with all the options in today's video. In next video, we are going to start with cloners and effectors. So let's just go through all the options that we get in motion design here. Okay, so now you can see guys, there is a new tab here called motion design. And if you click on the selection mode as well, there you will also find a motion design. So if you will ask me what is the difference between this and this, they both are not same guys. If I click on this, I get a motion design layout here. Okay, I get these tools as we get in modeling toolkit. Okay, in modeling toolkit, you get all the tools related to modeling toolkit. Same here, you will get all the tools related to motion design. It is not going to change your uh, uh, it is not going to change your layout or your tools and all that stuff. If you want to change your layout as per motion design, you want to use that template of motion design, you need to click here. Okay. And as soon as you do this, you will see our new template is loaded here. Okay. So if I go to my selection and if I click on motion design and you will see, if I click on it again, you can see this is our default layout that we get in motion design. Okay. Let's first explore this. What does it provide? 
okay so here you can see we are having all the shapes related to 2d related to 3d as well okay we have our actors as well in which we are going to look at in next session what is cloner and what are the parameters that we get in cloners how to use it then we have the meshes option as well we have the camera option as well just as you get uh, in your uh, default uh, unreal engine they are the same camera here as well and you get the light as well okay here if you see on the right side you will see there are two outliners right now this there is one motion design outliner and there is one more outliner which is unreal default outliner so what is the difference between both of them so here you get some options that you don't get basically in your outliner by default so let's say if i don't want to see this floor when i am basically playing this scene so you can see this this is having two options runtime visibility and then there is editor visibility so if I turn off this floor in runtime and if I click on play here, you can see I am not getting that floor here. Okay, I have just disabled it in my runtime here. So this is how runtime works in Unreal Engine Outliner of Motion Design. By default, you also get a sequencer here. Okay, this is the same sequencer as you click here. Okay, but it's somewhat different because it is modified according to your motion design tools and motion design templates. Okay, you can see we are having the labels as well. Okay, you can see we are having some tools as well like we are having a high resolution screenshot button directly given here. Okay, then we have our post process effects, then we have our game view as well. So we are having some really needful and helpful buttons for our motion design journey which are given here. Okay, we are going to explore it in future videos. Don't worry about that. Then what you can see, you if you go here, motion design, you can see we are having the same outliner as we discussed and you can see there are certain icons here. This basically denotes what materials are applied to that uh, object. Okay, so whenever a material is applied, you will see this icon here in your motion design outliner. You will not see it in your outliner by default. Okay, so if you want, you can close this as well. Okay. Then you can see we are having certain uh, tabs here. If I click on operator stack, you can see we can give some modifiers here. Okay, we can give some animators here. But in order to use that, we need some objects. We need some cloners, effectors and all that stuff to uh, basically use this. But you have all the stuff here in your operator stack. I generally use my operator stack here. Okay, and then I do something like this so I can use all my tools here and my viewport as well you also have rulers here as you get in photoshop so you don't get that in your default layout but this is motion design so we are getting all the stuff related to motion design then we have our material designer as well in order to create material you can directly use this as well we are going to use that as well in our next video when we are going to look at cloners then we have a create default now this is a really amazing thing so let's say you want to create a camera here so what you can do, you can just create defaults and by default, it will replace your directional light, your skylight because it's already available. But if you want to update it, you can do it as well. If you want two directional light, you can do as well. Okay, right now, I don't want any of this here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just have my cine camera actor here. Okay, so I am going to disable my post process, sunlight, skylight and my default scene route. I'm now going to have only and only cine camera actor. And as soon as I click on spawn, now you can see we are having this Eva Cine Camera Actor 0. Okay, by default. So in Unreal Engine Motion Design, you get a camera called Eva Cine Camera Actor, which you will find here as well in Eva uh, Cine Camera Actor. Okay, Eva Post Process. If I just do it big here, you can also find we have that Eva Post Process Volume. So these are all uh, configured according to your motion design journey. Okay right now let's just go out of our camera here okay and you can see we are now in camera viewport okay so it's same as our default viewport but if you want to stick to that your default viewport thing you can just click here and it's one and the same the only difference that you get if you click on cinematic you get this stuff okay by default and same way if you click on motion design viewport you get all these tools here so it's same but different <laughs> okay so now let's just scroll upwards here and you can see you can move as well and you can see your camera is here okay then you can move your camera here up as well if you want but here now you can see it's locked basically so we need to unlock it and you can do it from by clicking here and now you can just move the stuff here 
Now you can see the camera is locked, the transform rotation and all the stuff are locked here. So we need to unlock it first. And now you can see we are have unlocked this. And now if I go to my camera here and now I can move it as well here. Okay. So this is a great thing again. So in order to use the camera, you need to unlock it first. So just remember that. Now let's look at our default motion graphics 2D template that Unreal Engine provides. Okay, let's just go to file new here and let's just look at the motion design template. Okay, so now you are familiar with this uh, all the stuff here. Now we, it will you will find it easy to use this basically this motion design template. You can see it's same as we have seen here. Now you can see in outliner you have the shapes as well and the shapes are animated as well. Okay. Now if you want you can open the operator stacks as well. You can add the modifiers as I told you. You can see there are lots of modifiers. You can add the animators as well. And right now you can see in animators, they have already animated it here by the time. Okay, so you can do all the random things in and out and all that stuff. Now, let's say if you want to get out of this mode here. Okay, and this is really fast guys. So if you see here, if I want to move here, I can really do all that stuff. And this is really fast compared to After Effects. Okay. So we are going to do all the stuff, but right now let's just go out of our camera mode and let's just go to our default viewport. And now you can see this is how our scene is looking. So you can see the depth as well. You can see the text as well. And if you want to change the text, just click on the text here. Okay. And let's just type here what we want. So let's just type what we want. Okay. And let's just press enter and you, you can see we have that what we want. And again, what we can do, we can go to our default camera. And here you can see we have this what we want. Okay, so just explore this stuff. Don't go too much. Don't change some stuff if you don't know what you are doing. But you can explore them here. Okay, there is a 3D template as well, which is hidden in Unreal Engine. They haven't included in your default templates. So if you want to activate that, you can uh, use that as well. And that is a really cool thing that I have found out as well. Maybe they are going to integrate it in 5.5, .5, but I don't know till now because it's still in experimental. So if you enable the motion design, you know, it still is in experimental stage. Okay. So how you can do that? Let's just see that. Okay. So for that, you need to go to content drawer here. You need to click on your engine here. Okay. And if you search here, motion. Okay. So you can see there is a motion template as well. And there is a 3D motion graphics as well. Can you see this? So just load this out. Okay. And here you will see a 3D motion graphic template with your backstage. Yes, with your lights and you can see this as well. So this is hidden by default. I don't know why it is hidden, but it is there. If you want, you can use it. You can use this backdrop as well. So if I go out of my camera here, okay. And if I go to my default viewport, you can see we have this really good backdrop here. We have some really good light setup here. So you can use this for your default light seen as well okay you can just save as this save as this level and just use it according to your requirement as well i hope you guys like this video if you like this video please press that like button share it with your friends who wants to learn motion design in unreal engine and i see you next time bye bye guys